Hey YouTube, how's it going? Amateur Marksman here with the uh, unboxing for you. Um, I'm waiting for this one for, well, I've been waiting to get it for a while, but I uh, just ordered it from Amazon Prime. I was looking for the Amazon in the box, I guess it's not on there. From Amazon Prime on um, Saturday, I guess it was, and uh, it just came today. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you what's in the box. I already cut it because I don't have a tripod and cutting boxes without a camera really sucks. Or without a tripod, it really sucks. So what do I got for you? Harris Bipod. Um, this is going to go on my uh, Remington 700. Um, i trying to build this thing for uh, precision. Now, which model is it here? We got Series S, which is for the swivel. Uh, BRM, the BR is bench rest, it's the 6 to 9 model, and then the M is for the notched legs. So, this is what I got. Let me go ahead and see if I can get it out of the bag for you. Sorry for the shakiness, guys. Like I said, I don't want to try it yet. Uh, drop something here. Alrighty. A little bit of literature. I'll read that later. bipod itself. I'm really, really excited to get this. So, uh, let's go ahead and grab the rifle and, uh, see what it looks like. Well, hold on a second, guys. Alright, everybody, so here's my rifle. Um, just did the unboxing for the bipod for it and realized that I haven't really shown an overview of this rifle yet. I kind of just put the video up of me shooting it. So I'm going to go ahead and do a real quick overview of it. Um, First things first, the Remington 700. Uh, it's chambered in 308 with a 26 inch barrel on it. Um, I've shot it 12 rounds through it so far, I think, and I love it already. Um, it kicks like a mule, and uh, you know, it's real loud, and those are two things that I personally uh, find enjoyable, I guess. But um, so far, what I've done to it, um, I got this Weaver tactical rail um, for the Remington 700 short action and I put it on there whenever I got it it wasn't um, perfectly flush back here and I didn't want to tighten it down and then cause the cause it to warp you know um, so I put some JB weld on back here to fill that gap so I could tighten it down without it warping um, but that's the only real thing that I've done to it so far um, plan on getting the scope and scope rings for it uh, next as soon as I get the money um, put those on uh, for Christmas I asked for a triad tactical stock pack to go on back here and I'm really hoping I get that um, and then up front I'm thinking about getting it uh, threaded in the front to add a muzzle brake why not really sure um, I'm just kind of a fan of the way it looks and they seem to be fairly practical so uh, I'm going to look into getting that done. Now I did make this rear bag for it. Um, it's just popcorn seeds, uh, 32 ounces of popcorn seeds, um, an old soccer sock, and zip ties, and it actually works really well. Um, I had the front of this rifle rested on a, uh, just a bag and then used this in the back, and it held it really, really steady. So um, as far as that, that's all I've done to it so far, but let me go ahead and grab the bipod and put it on there for you guys so you can see um, what it looks like with it on there so hold on one second alright ladies and gentlemen so here's my rifle with the bipod attached to it um, let me show you this real quick I forgot to show it on the first or well technically second portion of this video um, but I did check it before I uh, before I turned the video on so yes it is safe I always check my guns you know gotta be safe so there you go pinky up in it empty we're good to go so, here is the bipod. Um, first, I'd like to say it's a lot easier to get it on than what everyone on YouTube makes it out to be. It really is, because it looks like everyone struggles with it, but you just unscrew this little nut right here all the way down, pinch the two little clips together, and put it on your uh, little uh, swing swivel stud mount or whatever it's called. Um, but yeah, it's really not that hard. Um, I'd show you it, but like I said, I don't have a tripod yet. 
and yes I do plan on getting one as soon as I can um, preferably for the GoPro actually um, kind of has a weird angle to it but the tripod's better than no tripod and I don't feel like buying another camera so to kind of give you a quick little overview on this thing it's really 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 easy to and quick to deploy if the legs are up you just grab and rip them down and they snap into place um, it's great I love this bipod already I haven't shot with it yet but I did lay down behind it um, prone a little bit before I made this video just so I can kind of give you at least a little bit of information on it um, and I'll do a full in-depth review with it after I've used it quite a bit um, take it out to the range and stuff like that as soon as I can to get that done but anyway to deploy the legs you just click these little guys right here when you do that they slide out which they go out all the way and one hand again sucks so I don't want the rifle to fall over on me um, but yeah they, it's from six to nine inches which let's see if I can actually do this real quick okay precisely why I didn't want to do that and that really just made me mad but that's okay so while we're here there you go and they go from six to nine inches it's the bench rest model but going prone with it and laying behind it really does seem like it would be you know it'd be really good to go prone with like it's not it's not really that short to me um, I can hunger down behind it real well um, but anyway so it's the swivel model swivels back and forth these legs go in I believe it's one inch increments uh, okay so camera just stopped there sorry about that anyway as I was saying uh, one inch increments on the notch leg I'm pretty sure is what it is on both sides um, this thing is it really is great I'm not gonna lie I would definitely recommend it for you know whatever you want to use it for when laying down behind it it does slip on hardwood floors but most places you're gonna shoot are not gonna have hardwood floors so you don't really have to worry about that on carpet grass you know it stays pretty solid and you're not gonna have to worry about that um, about it slipping on you. One thing I want to show you guys that no one really seemed to show on their videos as far as I'm aware is this little thing right there. You twist this each way and it tightens the swivel on it. Um, you can never, as far as I can tell so far, is you can never fully tighten it down to where it doesn't move at all. If you can, I haven't been able to do it yet. but um, So it just tightens it and loosens it, you know, whichever way you twist it, obviously. So if it's all the way this way, it's, you know, it's real easy to flop around, but you can tighten it there. A little bit harder to move but anyway um so yeah that's just kind of a quick overview of the bipod um i'm gonna do a full in-depth review um whenever i take after i take it out to the range and use it a little bit but uh so now that i have that on there i have to get my scope and scope rings and the triadactyl stock pack which i'm hoping to get for um for christmas i'm really really hoping to get that but anyway um after this is completed and build, built, I'm going to start saving up and I'm going to get either a Glock 23 or a Glock 27. I live in Illinois and we just got concealed carry, so I'm looking for a good gun for it. I know the 27 is smaller, but the 23 is more shootable, if that's a word. Um, so, suggestions on that, guys, would be great. It's between those two and, you know, the 40 Smith & Wesson is a good round, I think, personally, for... Um, defensive carry so I don't think you're going to be able to talk me out of the 40 Smith & Wesson but um, Glock 23 or Glock 27 go ahead and give me your input on that and if you guys want to see the rest of this build or whatever else I put up on my channel um, or you guys like you know what I'm doing with my channel go ahead and uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button guys um, it'll really help me out it really will um, and that way I know that I got some support and people who are actually interested in my videos um, also, if you guys want to share these videos with your friends, feel free. You know, it doesn't bother me in the slightest. Um, leave me comments too, guys. You know, I want to know what you guys want to see. Um, if there's anything that you want me to learn, let me know and I'll see what I can, see what I can dig up on it, see if I can practice it, um, and then show you guys. So, you know, let me know. But, uh, again, I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. Um, and, uh, I'll talk to you guys later.